Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be decorating my front room or as I call it a living room for Christmas. So grab a cozy uh, drink, coffee, mocktail, cocktail and let's get our decor out. This year I wanted to do something along the lines of a winter wonderland but trying in some of the woodsy rustic um, theme from my front room decor so lots of green red and white is what I'm going for every room in my house will have a different theme but I will try to include transitional pieces that the whole decor and that ties the whole decor together so if you like this type of decorating definitely hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you're not so let's get started with some Christmas music and I am having a little mocktail since it's um, in the middle of afternoon could be having a cocktail as well but decided to have a mocktail instead so I'm going to be starting with the fireplace to set the mood and then move on to the rest of the room So previous years I kept this garland together like this but this year I thought I could do something a little bit different and take it apart because there are two attached to together and um, just use one of them. Um, originally this garland was purchased for my other fireplace which is much bigger but then when I switched the themes around I decided to use it here. and. It, I mean it was working for me obviously previous years when I was doing it that way but this year I wanted a, something a little bit different. I am actually decorating it differently um, in this room than the previous years altogether. I have added a couple new things and just trying to um, to spruce up the decor and make it look a little different. Uh, some of my furniture I've had for a while which I had mentioned even in the front room and I'm I am feeling it right now and I feel like I want to change things up but I don't really see the point of switching off furniture when it's in a perfectly fine condition. Um, especially the chairs in this room are just not working for me. The pattern is really bothering me but what can I do? I'm not gonna be switching out this year maybe next year as I always say so I am fluffing up the garland right now just to see uh, the full effect and to see if I'm actually going to keep it which I am keeping it just the one I really love adding these trees with candelabras kind of tied in together. Uh, these candelabras were, some of them were my DIY, some of them were upcycled thrifted um, items. So um, I have tons of Christmas DIYs and all these DIYs over on my DIY channel that you can head on over and check them out. But the little trees on the side I did pick up at HomeSense last year and I absolutely love them. The only, th love them. The only thing I wish they were a much taller which I could probably elevate them with something I'm putting something underneath but for this year I'm just keeping them as they are this uh, snowman is actually a um, wax melter so uh, I came from Yankee Candle and I really like him. Last year I added this burlap ribbon to him with a red ribbon, but this year I felt like I don't didn't need the burlap anymore. So I am just going to take the burlap ribbon off and just kept the red snowflake ribbon. Kind of uh, setting off point for all the red touches that I will be adding. Christmas 
So I was just playing around to see what's gonna work here and I actually did not like this look so I ended up uh, switching it out and adding I had the can these candelabras that I DIY'd uh, a set of three so I had decided to add the two of them here but the one that I'm adding gonna be that I adding here is a little too short so I just uh, elevated it with some uh, coasters springtime coasters <laughs> but you can't see them and then I just added some candles I will not be lighting these candles up just because for the safety reasons but I do like the way they look the two of the candles are actually a battery operated candles but I think it would look odd if I light those two and not the other two maybe if I find um, uh, a different size of uh, the battery operated one maybe I'll switch them out that's all that you're gonna have to come back for a home tour to see if I switched out now on the side of the fireplaces I have uh, previously had the kids um, advent calendars that I made but I'm thinking I'm gonna put them somewhere else this year and I am going to add two Christmas uh, um, two smaller Christmas trees on each side of the fireplace that will it will kind of hide some of the cords as well as um, just kind of drape the fireplace a little bit I guess the I, I'm not sure how to, to call that but anyways I just love this look however the Christmas trees that I did have were just really green Christmas trees they weren't flocked whereas other whereas my garland was but I was determined to make this thing work so I have put them in two galvanized pods but they're not the same pods so I was hoping that they were closer in size but um, they weren't just working for me so you'll see what I'll do to them I might go out and see if I can just find two same pots so that way um, they look okay just together or maybe even baskets I think probably baskets because I did end up liking the way I uh, draped them with some burlap which you will see in a minute um, and I like that there was a different texture on the bottom kind of to uh, soften the look I guess I did put some um, uh, lights on them I do have those twinkling lights um, but they're all battery operated uh, when I did turn them on I did see that they were two different colors so I will have to replace that as well to match the lights on the fireplace so lots of stuff still coming uh, for these uh, for this room w regarding these trees but before I did anything with them I did fluff them up because I think that's the most important thing
so to make these uh, trees um, a little bit flogged without actually spraying them with fake snow or creating that snow effect on them I had tons of these uh, branches that were uh, already um, they had the white snow on them and I had tons of them I'm not sure I've had these for several years I think they did come from Michael's the one year they were just branches that I ended up clipping and creating more branches probably just to fill in some of my garlands so I decided to add those in and that gave me that um, snowy effect in those these little trees and uh, without spending more money or actually uh, spraying the trees because I, I do find you know I change my mind so often that if I don't have to spray them I prefer not to because then I can just use them if I want them as they are in the following years. Yes, I am on my way. We'll put our differences aside and just enjoy this moment of peace and love and happiness. We come together to celebrate. Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. Now we're moving on to my coffee table but first things first I gotta move some of these items that I have um, placed while decorating the fireplace. So this has to be probably my favorite uh, thing to decorate because last year I had purchased this galvanized truck which you will see in a minute and I have used it for every season and I just love um, how versatile this is so I guess it was a pretty good investment I was humming and hawing about buying him because he was $79 plus tax um, so he was a little bit pricey I don't typically spend that kind of money on one single item uh, but I just loved him when I saw him and I ended up going back to the store and getting him and the store wasn't closed it was about an hour and a half drive so uh, and I do think he was a well worth purchase last year I had placed some snowflake snowballs in here but this year I thought I do something a little bit different and I had this flocked small Christmas tree on hand so I ended up using it and creating that um, truck with the tree look that I'm obsessed with. Now I wanted to add a bit of red to the coffee table as well. So I have had these um, berry picks from Marshall, well, HomeSense. Ours are together, HomeSense and Marshall's. Uh, and I decided to put these in. I think I did this last year as well. And it just gives that a uh, little bit of punch of um, red color and these are frosted as well so I think it kind of ties in everything together. the ground up 
Still sometimes I wonder if you're near or off yonder Though I couldn't tell you why But wherever you are, near or off far Outside my door or in some different bar I still wish you So if you've been watching me for a while, I have mentioned several times I do want to replace this stool that I have here in a corner with a proper table. I just need to find one that's tall but not too wide. Um, the search keeps going. And in there, on there, I just placed my, my late dog's urn as well as just a little touch of decor. And now moving on to my side table here. Uh, typically, I filled this up with pictures, but I've decided to just include some pictures and then take some other pictures and put them in other places. But I have this galvanized um, uh, well, lantern, and um, I decided to spruce it up with a little bit of berries just to add that red element. And I, I am quite pleased with the way this turned out. Now I was going to do this DIY over on my uh, DIY channel, but it was so simple that I just thought I'd show you quickly what I did here. I wanted some red pillows and I had picked these um, placemats. They are red buffalo check placemats. Uh, from Dollarama and they're the kind that are like two layers of fabric So you have to feel it to see if it has two layers of fabric or you can just see that there's a stitch on the side So I'm trying to take apart this stitch now. I did buy these Around Canada day at Dollarama. I have not seen them this Right now, but that doesn't mean they don't have them. It probably just means that one by my house doesn't have it but um, I just love the way these looks looked and I did pick them up for the purpose of using them for Christmas uh, decor uh, I picked up two because that was all that they had so I have taken that stitch apart and then I'm just separating the inside because I think it was just ironed together and then I have these summer pillows that um, on hand that fit perfectly inside you could also stuff them with some stuff a pillow stuffing if you want to just keep them uh, stuffed all the time I am starting to prefer pillowcases because I am running out of space so I will be uh, placing those um, over on the chairs but first I wanted to vacuum up my couch because I've been like <laughs> the dog hair is taking over my life so anyways there was some dog hair here he's not they're not supposed to go on a couch however I have caught Frank a couple times laying on this couch so and he's white against the brown couch it just doesn't look good so I'm just giving it a vacuum making sure there's no dog hair on it and then I'm going to add some pillows here as well as to my chairs
keeps us warm We can spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for you and me The snow is falling down And the storm is on its way Everything will be okay. Cause all I wanna do is so this is all finished up and I'm going to just clean the floor, run the vacuum before I show you the end result because there was tons of stuff all over the floor just from decorating. And you can also see how I prepped these room, rooms for this decor in a video that I posted last week. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, decorate with me for Christmas. I will be doing a full home tour so, so you can see everything and see if I changed up anything. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and I will see you guys real soon for my Christmas um, hot cocoa station decorating, which is coming up on Wednesday and so much more coming your way. See you guys soon and thank you so much for watching. It is Christmas, the first for you and me. Another year went by, but the difference this time is that ever since July, I've been happier than I have ever been. It's safe to say that my love for you is true. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything till we perfect for this week. Tomorrow. Tomorrow.